This week's parasha is named after a young man called Pinchas. Pinchas had the audacity as a relatively young person to take matters into his own hands when a Moabite princess came and shamed the whole Jewish people. But he acted. Now you would have thought that all Notwithstanding that he was young, notwithstanding that there were elders around, the fact that he had the courage to do something about it would be admired. And what do we find? He's roundly criticised. Left, right and centre, he's criticised. How dare you act in front of your elders? What right do you have to take the initiative? So one wonders, what does it take to justify a good action? And why the criticism? At the end, he was not only exonerated, but pronounced the hero. But look in our own lives, when criticism takes place. Sometimes criticism is justified, but the question is, where is it coming from? Why do people criticise? And all too often we find that even if it may be justified objectively, it's coming from the wrong place. It's coming from the ego. It's coming from envy. It's wanting to pull someone down. And that's what happened to Pinchas initially. Whenever you face criticism, or better still, when you criticize others, make sure it's coming from the right place. Because otherwise, it's tainted and invalid. Always make sure you know yourself.